On March 21, 1987, Captain Dean Martin Jr., a fighter pilot in the California Air National Guard and the son of legendary singer Dean Martin, was killed instantly after he flew a fighter jet into the side of a mountain, just minutes after takeoff. His weapons control officer was also killed in the accident. But what if this wasn't an accident? Could the powerful F-4 Phantom II have suffered an electronic or a mechanical malfunction? What about the confused directions that were broadcast by air traffic control? And after 36 years, why hasn't the US Air Force released the official accident report? What could they possibly be hiding? On March 21, 1987, about two hours before their departure, Dean Paul Martin, his weapons control officer, and the crewman from the two other aircraft attended a pre-flight briefing in the 196th Tactical Fighter Squadron's operations room. The flight leader was given the radio call sign of Grizzly 71. Martin in position number two was given Grizzly 72 and the third aircraft was Grizzly 73. The aircraft took off from March Air Force Base at 1.43 p.m. and did a maximum performance climb using afterburners. Powerful fighter jets shot upwards through multiple layers of clouds and falling snow. The weather conditions made it impossible for the pilots to maintain visual contact, and so the formation was maintained using radar. Two minutes before the crash in Grizzly 71, the flight leader contacted air traffic control at Ontario International Airport and requested permission to climb to 12,000 feet. That altitude would have lifted the three aircraft above the clouds, and more importantly, over the top of Mount San Gorgonio. But the request was denied because of heavy commercial traffic in the area. Martin, who knew that the mountains were near, immediately requested a left turn. The controller authorized the turn, but his transmission was garbled because other aircraft had transmitted at the same time. Martin, who apparently never heard the clearance, rolled his aircraft and made a dramatic dive in what may have been a last-ditch attempt to avoid hitting the mountain, but it was too late. Martin's jet slammed into a cliff on the south side of San Gorgonio at approximately 400 miles per hour. Both men were killed instantly. Afterward, the Air National Guard suggested that Martin himself had caused the accident. They said that he may have become disoriented or experienced vertigo inside the snowstorm. But in a radio transcript uncovered by the Los Angeles Times, the controller at the Ontario airport had frantically tried to find alternative routes for Martin and the other pilots, but couldn't due to the heavy commercial traffic that had been flying above them. I have only one thing to add. Dean Martin Jr. received his pilot's license when he was 16 years old. He was already flying while the rest of us were thinking about getting our driver's licenses. At the time of his accident, he'd been flying for 19 years. He was qualified to fly one of the US Air Force's top fighter jets, and he was instrument rated. So if he'd felt disoriented, he would have navigated using the array of high-tech instruments that were sitting right in front of him.